It has been a tough week for TikTok, and while the world is going TikTok crazy, some people aren't as impressed wanting to take the platform down, including some big cheeses, like a guy called Brendan Carr. Brendan Carr is a commissioner for the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission. Now, the FCC are a regulator of communications all across the US, including radio, TV, satellite, and cable. Brendan is worried that underneath all of the cat videos and funny memes, TikTok is actually a wolf in sheep's clothing, saying that it is actually a sophisticated surveillance tool harvesting data and sending it back to China. Now, due to it being such a national threat and violating terms and condition on both the Google Store and the Apple Store, Brendan says it must be removed. Now, if you remember, this is not the first time that America has tried to cancel TikTok. In 2020, Donald Trump tried to ban it, and it has also been banned in other countries like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and was banned in Indonesia. And even though TikTok is owned by a Chinese company, it is also banned in China. So whilst that's ironic, it does go to show that this is not out of the realms of possibility that TikTok could be banned in the US. And so a debate has broken out around civil liberties. My phone, my choice. Versus other people saying, no, this isn't about individuals' data. This is about the big picture of homeland security in general. Now, the thing is, this isn't just a couple of Karens getting together and taking a pop at TikTok. We are talking about a commissioner at the FCC and the ex-president of the United States of America. So, could TikTok actually get cancelled? After all, this wouldn't be the first time that a social media platform had gone from top of its game to insignificant in a very short amount of time. If you think about Vine or Snapchat or Friendster or MySpace. So what would happen to the music industry if we lost TikTok? After all, TikTok is now the number one platform for the world to discover new music and new artists. And it's also the best platform for creators and musicians and artists like yourself to be able to get free organic reach, something that we have been calling out for for the last five, six, seven years. Finally, we can put out content and it can be seen by people outside of our friends and family. But recently, consumption habits have been changing and people have been consuming more and more micro content, expecting their content to be wrapped up in short form video. And what that means is there's plenty of other social media platforms ready to take up the slack like Instagram Reels or Triller or YouTube Shorts. Even Facebook has announced over the last couple of weeks that they are updating and evolving the Facebook feed to include a lot more micro content. And while it's unlikely that TikTok is going anywhere, if you were going to put money on which platform was most likely to be cancelled, you'd think it would probably be the Chinese-owned platform. So with that in mind, it's probably a good idea not to put all of your eggs in one basket, starting to look at diversifying your social media portfolio. After all, if you're making micro content for TikTok, then why can't you make that same micro content for Triller, YouTube Shorts, or Instagram Reels. At the moment, TikTok is at the top of its game, but who knows, a little bit of legislation change and maybe we could see TikTok falling just as fast as it's risen. For me, this is such a huge story and I don't think we've heard the end of it yet. So my question to you isn't, do you think TikTok will get banned? My question is, would you like to see TikTok get canceled? Would you like to go back to when it was Instagram, Facebook and YouTube or have you bought in to TikTok? If you could leave that in the comments below because I love reading all of the comments. And other than that, if you can do me a huge favor, hit that like button because it really does make a huge difference to the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, stay safe and I'll see you again soon.